What's up guys, it's Pavel here from Emersoft. Today I would like to discuss highly effective and cost efficient marketing strategy, hosting a webinar. From my experience, HubSpot and Zoom is the best combination, very easy to set up. And HubSpot actually plays crucial role here because if set up correctly, it will give you tons of data and analytics. It will allow you to make data driven decisions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up correctly. Let's get into it. Let's start with uh, Zoom setup. So this, uh, this step has to be actually done in Zoom. Uh, let's navigate to webinars and let's schedule our first webinar. Here, uh, the name of the webinar, in my case, that's going to be HubSpot CMS webinar, uh, description, template, when. Let's set it up uh, in two weeks on Monday, 11 p.m. That's a little too late, I would say, but we can do around 3 p.m. Uh, one hour uh, registration required. We want to we want people to register. We don't need the passcode. Uh, video on for hosts. Panelists, that's okay as well. Both Q and A. That really depends on what you want to do on your webinar. And alternative host, we don't need that. Let's schedule this. Our webinar is scheduled. Uh, we have the registration link here and webinar ID. This is an important part for our HubSpot integration. We will get back to this uh, a little later. Uh, let's go here to email settings as well. That's uh, that's another important part of the setup. Right now we have the confirmation email uh, will be sent from, from Zoom and that's fine. Our contacts will actually receive two emails, one from Zoom with all the details and one from us from HubSpot. And that will allow us to have better uh, analytics and tracking and a little bit of our branding. Reminder email, uh, we don't need to send that. Attendee email, no follow up to attendees. You can actually preview the uh, confirmation email here. We don't need to change anything here. Let's get back to HubSpot. We are back in HubSpot and let's start with uh, settings. As always, navigate to uh, settings here and let's go to integrations, expand this, connected apps. I already installed Zoom, but if you don't have that already there, we can go to Marketplace and just browse for Zoom. We are looking for Zoom by HubSpot, 104K of installs, uh, official certified by HubSpot. Once you already have installed Zoom in your uh, HubSpot, let's navigate to, to settings. And here you will see all the settings uh, of our integration. But what we are interested in is webinars. This is my webinar I just scheduled in Zoom. You can see we can sync all the data manually, but that should be already synced uh, automatically by HubSpot. We have our webinar ID. This is important. Everything seems to be working correctly here. The next step is to create a campaign and uh, probably as you already noticed from my videos, I really love using them. They are just like buckets that you can put everything in together and it will give you extra analytics and all the additional data gathered together from all the places. Let's start with a campaign here from scratch as always. Hubs HubSpot CMS webinar. Uh, let's uh, keep everything as it is and we have a new campaign. So for now, I will just leave it as is when we will be adding, creating new assets, we will start adding them to our campaign. So the next step is to create a registration form. Uh, let's go to forms and I already have one. This is just a very simple form. I will show you. I just collect first name, last name and email. And here, if you go to options, you will see here the campaign. So I would like to add it to my campaign. As always, I recommend uh, setting this. So set contacts created as marketing contacts. We wouldn't have to do that in our workflow. Publish and our form is ready. The next step is to create a landing page. We want to have a landing page where we provide all the details about the webinar and embed the form. And again, I already created one just to speed up the process, but I will show you what I have here. 
uh, a simple landing page about the, the webinar and this is our form. So when I click on the component, you will be able to embed a form here. And by the way, guys, I'm using our new website template. It's next level. I'm going to record a video about it and talk more about how to create a website in, in HubSpot. This is my form here. Uh, if you go to forms, you will be able to select the form that you just created. Let's look into settings, general, page title, page uh, description. I can select the campaign, so let's do that again. Uh, featured image, I always recommend that. And it's our template, the, the URL, everything is here. Boom, update, and our website is ready. I just added it to our campaign, so all the visits and everything that happens on this website will contribute to our analytics and we will be able to track everything. And this is important because later on I will show you how to set up track URLs that will give us even more insights where people are coming from. Okay, so landing page, uh, the landing page is ready. Another page that we need is a webinar a confirmation page. So if someone submits a form and opt in for the webinar, we want to redirect them to a new page. Again, this is created with our new template. I'm telling you guys, can't wait to show you. Uh, this is next level. Simple information. Let's look into settings, general, uh, select the campaign. I'm adding it to my campaign page title and meta description. Uh, everything looks good. Update, boom. So when you already have those two pages ready, uh, let's make sure that we redirect people after they opt in in our form. Uh, our form. So I go back to my landing page. I open the component with the form, and here you have the thank you. Uh, make sure that you set up the redirect to another page and select your confirmation page. I've already done it. We also need to create a webinar confirmation email. We want to send them an automated email when they opt in with uh, a little bit of branding and some more details about the webinar. I already created one. I will show you, but uh, we need to make sure that we create automated email because we will be sending those emails from our workflow. So if you hit that button, select the automated email. This is my email. Let's go here. Uh, I can review it. That's how it's going to look like. Very simple. Uh, here, when I go to edit email, uh, another important part is to always remember to add those assets to the campaign. So let's do that together. This is my email for CMS webinar. All the details here. Update. Now let's get to the fun part and create some automations. Click here, create a workflow from scratch. This is going to be a contact based workflow. Our trigger will be when someone submits our form. Uh, let's go to here. Uh, form submissions. And uh, here another criteria form name. Uh, HubSpot CMS webinar form. This is when someone registers to our event. And by the way, we can add more criteria. For example, if we host multiple different webinars, we can identify on what page the form was submitted. A good practice is to have just one form for all your webinars and then just have different landing pages per webinar. But for now, we only have just one landing page with that form, so I don't need to add that criteria. Okay, looks good. Let's go. Again, we don't need to make this contact as a marketing contact because our form converts those contacts into marketing contacts. We don't need to add this step here. Let's first add that person to Zoom. Uh, I just type Zoom here and uh, I have the action add uh, contact to Zoom webinar. This is the ID that we need to get from our webinar. Uh, let's go back to uh, Zoom settings and let's copy that. 
by the way, you, you want to make sure that there are no spaces. So we need to remove all the spaces. Otherwise, that's not going to work. Uh, save. Looks good. Our contacts already added to Zoom. Then the next step, we want to send a confirmation email from us. So Zoom will send one confirmation email to them, but we also want to send them one confirmation email from us with the automated email that we created. Let's go to communications and send an email. Uh, enrolled contact and let's select the email, HubSpot CMS webinar confirmation. That's the email we created. There was like a little preview and hit send. At this stage, you can also add additional information to your contact based on the webinar, based on the interest. You can also send some internal notifications to the team that someone actually opted in. We can also set it up inside of the form. And I actually prefer it that way. I always get notifications when a form was submitted. And then I will, I always keep those workflows clean. It's easier later to maintain and update. So for now, that looks good. I will just change the name. Okay. Looks good. Uh, review and publish enrollment. All good. Let's wait for that AI description. This is actually a great feature from HubSpot. You can see if the workflow that you created actually performs the action that you want. <laughs> I always double check and confirm if my workflow is correct. So it looks good. Turn on our automation is in place. Let's do a little recap of what we've done so far. Firstly, we set up a webinar in Zoom. Then we went to HubSpot and connected Zoom application inside of a connected apps. Then we made sure that the webinar data is synced here. We have our webinar here. We created a form for people to register. We also created a couple of landing pages. We embedded our registration form on this website with all the details about the webinar and key uh, takeaways. We made sure that the form redirects to our confirmation page, which we also created for the webinar. We also created a campaign just to keep everything in one place and get additional tracking and reporting. Now, when everything is ready, we can navigate to events. And here we should have our webinar from Zoom created. We can also add this webinar to our campaign just to make sure everything is together for better reporting. I go to campaigns, I navigate to my campaign, add assets, and here you have marketing events and let's include that event to our campaign. So everything is good. Now let's see how that actually works. Let's navigate to our landing page. This is our registration, go view. And that's my, that's my landing page for the webinar. And I will sign up. Let's submit. There you go. Everything is working collect, col correctly. I was redirected to our thank you page. And let's look into HubSpot. That's the contact that was created from our form. This is activity view for, for my contact. I see that uh, the form was submitted, uh, lifestyle changed to lead and marketing email was sent. Let's check, uh, let's check in my inbox. Registration confirmation email, you are registered. Hi Pavo, this is our personalization token in action. I also received another email from Zoom the confirmation email where I can add that event to my calendar and find all the details how to connect. Here on the Zoom webinar detail page, I can go to invitations and I see that total registrants is one. And if you want to see details, you can click here, edit, and you will see that it's, uh, it's my contact that I submitted. So everything is working correctly. We have it set it up. Let me show you how you can leverage LinkedIn to drive more traffic to your webinar and make sure that you track all the data and have all the analytics in place to make sure that you can evaluate later what marketing efforts bring you the most value. Let's grab a URL for our registration website, uh, more view. And I copy the URL and let's navigate to settings and go to 
tracking an analytics and tracking URLs. From here, we can create a tracking URL for that LinkedIn event page. So here we paste our URL. We can also assign it to a campaign just to make sure everything is in one place. Uh, here, source. So this is going to be a tracking URL for the event page in LinkedIn. And we want to make sure that if someone comes from LinkedIn, this is recorded in our campaign and HubSpot. So later you can analyze how many people actually came from LinkedIn and if it's worth, and is it worth it to promote it on LinkedIn there? So let's say this is a, um, organic social and that's coming from LinkedIn. I create that URL and now we can grab that URL, copy short URL. If you copy tracking URL, you will be able to see that it has a lot of different parameters here. And this is all tracked by HubSpot just to make sure that every everything is in uh, in your CRM. We don't need that long uh, URL with all the parameters. We can just copy the short URL. And now let's navigate to LinkedIn. So this is my page on LinkedIn. And now let's create an event. I navigate to home and here we have events. And from here you can create a live event. You can upload the catchy image and provide all details. This is an online event, event format, external event link. This is important. Event name, that's going to be our HubSpot CMS webinar and set all the data. And this is going to be our external event link. And that's the short link that we, the tracking URL that we created inside of HubSpot. So now whoever comes to our registration page from LinkedIn, it will be recorded in our HubSpot. Guys, I would like to show you one more thing, how you can drive additional engagement after the webinar. So uh, let's create an active list. And here we can use Zoom integration to filter it. Uh, let's go Zoom, use registration event properties and use webinar ID. So again, let's go back to our webinar det details. I copy the webinar ID. And here in our HubSpot. Again, we need to make sure that there are no spaces. So I like to do that this way. Uh, this is our webinar ID. So now it's going to filter all the people that attended, that registered to our webinar. Then let's add additional filter here. And again, from Zoom, we want to see we want to filter people that were actually engaged and interested in our webinar. So let's go to here, attendance, even properties. And now we can filter people that actually attended, let's say more than 60% of our webinar. So the attendance duration percent is greater than 60%. And just like that, you have a list of people that were very much interested in your webinar and you can send them a different follow up email after the webinar. You can have multiple different marketing strategy from just one webinar and filter those people uh, to see who dropped quickly or who registered but didn't attend. And you can have different uh, follow ups and things like that. Everything can be tracked in HubSpot. It's a great tool. That's it for today. As you can see, guys, Zoom and HubSpot, very powerful combo, very easy to set up and you can track all sorts of data and have everything in one place. You don't need to juggle different apps, different connections. Everything is in your HubSpot, everything in your correct campaign with all the data. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, talking about webinars, we are organizing a webinar soon at Emersoft. We're going to be talking about CMS, how to create a converting websites. And I will also mention more about the template that we created and the system that we have. This is going to change the game. I'm telling you, and that template will be available for free on the marketplace. So stay tuned and to the next one. Thank you for watching.